What is going on YouTube, Duckroo? I am back with an exciting video. We got a bunch of Scarlet and Violet stuff today. We've got five booster packs. We got two of the booster bundles. We got a booster box. I do have two more of these coming. And then we also got the ETBs and we have the Poke Center versions of these coming as well. For some reason, they're gonna be a little delayed on shipping. I won't get them until this so Saturday the 1st, you guys may see this Monday. So depending on when you guys see it, I'll already have them and be in the process of making the video. Um, but we did stop and pick up our GameStop pre-orders of these. We're just going to start opening them up, seeing what we all get with them, seeing, um, you know, we've opened up quite a bit of these here on the channel. So we're going to have a good idea as to what we are getting. It's just a matter of how it looks and uh, how it kind of comes out. Now, I have not looked at the um, the cards that come in this set at all. I haven't watched any videos on it. I have been staying away from that. So for the Crydon box, here is our game pieces, our dice that this comes with. Let me move this up just a little bit closer so you guys can see, do the clear side of it. Those actually look like pretty cool dice there. Our game pieces. Um, I'm going to take this sleeve out real quick. We've got this guy. Here is our sleeves, our Crydon sleeves. Here is our card dividers. We get a packet of energy cards, which I'm not going to worry about. And then we get nine booster packs. I'm just going to set those right there off to the side. Um, you know, the energy cards. We get plenty of those. Um, actually, just because it is a design change, so you guys can kind of see them as well. They look pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with them. I'm excited to see what these cards look like. Now, we also do get the booklet of everything that the cards come with as well, but I want to open up the Maridon box just to kind of get an idea there. I'm going to avoid looking through the booklet until after I've opened up all my packs and see what we get. So we're going to move on. Oh, I made a mistake and I would like to put those game pieces back in the correct box before I forget. So we're just going to slip these right on in here real quick. Reclose this guy up because I do like to sit on these boxes. I There's some I just need to go throw away because I have so many duplicates of like the shining face ones are getting a little ridiculous. And I don't like sitting on a hundred of those and I did not notice there's actually artwork on the inside of this box that is really cool shows the three starter pokemon maridon Crydon. game pieces for the maridon box are going to be the same for here dice is pretty close to the same but you get a purple dice instead of a red die uh we'll just move this sleeve out i'm going to move these packs right up over here you get the maridon dividers for the cards you get your energy we get our promo card, which we will open up in a moment as well. And then your Maridon game save card. So very cool. Excited for these. Um, we've got a massive pack opening. So I may put a pause. Well, actually, I won't need to. We can just kind of jump into those booster boxes and go from there. <clears throat> um, or ETBs, I mean, not booster boxes. I just need to move these off to the side. We have... Like I said, five additional packs. We have two of the booster bundle boxes, which I'm going to move right on over here. We will open all these up in a moment after we get through the ETBs running out of space. Um, so we get our code cards, move those off to the side. So here's our Coridon card. Looks absolutely awesome. And then our Maridon. These are really cool cards. I really do like these. I am going to do a quick little pause I'm going to, I'm looking for a cloth. I'm going to clean my lens real quick and I will see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. So here are the promotional cards that we get with. I'm just going to set these right up here off to the side as well. These look absolutely gorgeous. I They did an excellent job with those. Um, so, so far each... ETB is going to come with nine booster packs. And so we're going to be starting off with a good 18 cards to open. Plus we actually have the booster bundle. We are just going to be jumping into these. Um, now, like I said earlier in the video, I have not looked at a single card that comes in this set. I've 
Obviously got the promo cards from the Paldea set, which, you know, nothing too crazy there. Here's your guys' first co-card of the Scarlet and Violet set. I am excited for this. I've been waiting for this for a while. So we're going to start off with a Bisharp, Magnemite, Quack of All. So energy. So we only, we'll have to figure it out. Graveyard, Mastiff, Judge, and Team Star Grunt. So we're just going to move these right up here. Move that energy. Is it just three? No longer four? Is that what it was? Did I see that correctly? Or is it more? Here is that. Let's see if we can get it right this time. No. Wug Trio. Abrovlia. Pomo. Rotom. So not all of them are going to be shiny on the side. So this is a hollow here. So that was our rare. But not all of them are. They're just going to be grayed out. I thought they were going to be a little bit more shiny um, on the sides there. So that's kind of what I was hoping for. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit more. Um, but that's what I was kind of hoping for. So let's see here. Here's our next code card. I'm going to move five this time. No, Katie, Sprigatito, Reverum, Basic Energy, Charcadet, and nothing too crazy there. So what I'm actually going to do this time, I'm not even going to try a back trick. We're just going to count back, backwards. So I get that we see the Chansey. Okay, so we're just going to, so one to the front is what we need to do. That's crazy. So this is going to be a Chansey, a Rare Candy, Fido, Sandaconda, Metatite, Ryolu. That's kind of a cool Reverse Hollow Ryolu card. And then we get a Dondozo. Nothing too crazy yet for pulls. I'm actually going to move some of this trash into the actual trash here. So that way I can make sure I have plenty of room. Um, like I said, I do have two more booster boxes, so we are going to be doing some major openings on these, getting a lot of this collection done. I would like to get it. This one finished up pretty fast. I Oh, just one. That's going to be such a change in habit now. Energy switch. Clauncher. Crockler. Driftloom. And we got an Iron Treads, our first EX card out of the set. Looks absolutely sweet. Stunning. I like the hollow on this. You can see like the little stars and it's almost like a snowflake in a sense on some spots. Very cool card. We're going to set that right there. Front and center. Our first main pull for Scarlet and Violet is going to be an Iron Treads. How awesome is that? They have the Iron Pokemon in this. Um, starting off with the Fire Energy. Foy Coco. Wug Trio Judge. Lechonk. And a Maridon full hollow. That is awesome. Moving these all off up here to the side. We've got a couple more packs on these here. Um, just keep going though. We're going to plow right through these. Hopefully we can just get some sweet ones. That would be awesome. Um, so far nothing too crazy. We've got a Quaxley though. Looks like we got another. Nope. We got a Meowskerade. What starter Pokemon did you guys choose in Char Scarlet and Violet? For Violet, I went with uh, Quack of All, or Quaxley. Is that what his uh, starter is? And then in Violet, I went with Foy Coco. Doing the same habit. Like I said, that's going to be hard to break. Naomi, Flabble Growlithe, and an Indeedee for the rare. Only two more packs on the right side here. I do not remember which box that these ones came out of. I usually try to um, save them so that way we can uh, see which one gave us the better pull, but that's gonna be a little hard today. Um, so let's see here, we got an Ultra Ball. I, I, we got a Gold Nest Ball and a full Hollow Halluchin. That is an awesome one as well. But the Gold Nest Ball is definitely going to be sleeved up. This does have a texture on it as well. Um, very good card. Not part of a secret. Oh, this one's 255 out of 198. It's technically a secret set card. But we got our first gold card out of the Scarlet and Violet set. And it is a sweet looking card. 
Um, so it's nice to see that they still kept the gold cards in there. I do not know how many they have. Like I said, we haven't looked at anything, but we're just going to keep trucking through this. We've got tons to open. We got Ralts. Oh yeah, we got another. We got this one's going to be our so another secret. It's a Mabo stiff. I don't know exactly quite how you're supposed to say his name, but so far three decent hits. That is not bad at all. These cards are looking sharp. I'm excited to put them in my binder, get it set up, see how much of the collection we can get done. Um, man, we've got so many collections we're working through too. This next month, I'm just going to be finishing up the Lost Origins. I'm not buying any more Lost Origin packs or ETBs or anything. We're just going to go right on through and get it done. We got a Gyarados EX card for our next poll. This one is textured as well. This one is uh, Terra Sterilized as well. You can see right there on his head. Um, that is another awesome card. Another kind of hidden card in the set, it looks like. So we have gotten some good pulls so far out of this ETB. Um, we are moving on to our next set, I want to say, of nine packs. Maybe eight because we've already opened one up on that side. But that is perfectly okay. Do want to apologize that this video is going to be a bit lengthier than normal. We've got a lot to open up. But you know what? It's a new set. It's all right. I love doing this. And another Maridon card. So nothing too crazy there. Still a couple more packs to open up with this. Now, I originally thought, and I don't know why I thought this, but I thought these Scarlet and Violet packs were going to only come with five cards in each pack. But I am thankful that they ended up coming with ten in each. Um, I've still got a lot of cards to put away. From the past couple videos that we've made, I know I haven't been able to release them weekly. We had Spring Break and then got another Iron Treads EX card. We had spring break and then they had a couple extra days off of school this week. And so it's just my schedule's just been kind of crazy on it. And the summer it's going to get pretty crazy again with kids being home and um, trying to get some videos put out. Because I really don't have much space where I can quietly do this. But we got a duplicate Iron Treads card, which is all right. Not bad. We can add that into the trade binder. Not that we've been really able to make any trades recently. And... I don't like taking them to the cards and getting GameStop finessed where they want to buy it for only 60% of the product value. Um, but it's not going to be a major card there anyways. That's probably going to be a 3 to $5 card max, if even that. So, But that's all right. So here's our basic energy. Rare Candy, Dadini, and a Cyclizer Full Hollow for the Rare. Not a bad one there. Nothing too crazy on some of these cards. Um, you're also not going to see pricing on the screen on this. Normally, Lately, I've kind of changed it to where I'm only showing you pricing if it's really worth it. And um, I'll give you two for those who haven't seen my videos before. I'll usually give you like an ungraded raw pricing, and then I'll do a PSA 10 if you happen to pull a real good card. I'm not saying that my cards are going to be selling for that much. We've got a Maridon EX card, though. I will definitely take that. This is a sweet-looking card. Pop this up a little bit closer. I am loving this one. This one's an awesome card. But uh, but usually I do. Scarlet and Violet being out brand new. The pricing is going to be so volatile that you're going to watch them spike up. And you're going to watch them slam down. You're going to watch them spike up and then slam back down. And eventually they'll stabilize a little bit more. And I would say probably in a month or two we may see them stabilize they could also just come out and be stable instantly. Um, you know, I mean, there's no way of really always being able to read the market. And we got a Dolliv and a Coridon full hollow. So we have gotten another one here. Got a couple good pulls. Last pack out of the ETBs. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to the booster bundles the individual packs, and then we will do the booster box. So like I said, a lot of pack openings. If you're just wanting to hang out, chill, see what kind of cards are getting pulled out of these packs, this is definitely going to be the video for you. Um, but for the rest of this pack here, we are going to be ending on a King of Bit. Yeah, King of King Ambit. Um, nothing too crazy for that final pack, but we're going to jump right on into the booster bundles. Now I do have two of these here. We may go through each one and see what 
cards they gave us for the build and battle because the cool thing with these is they're ready to go out of the box so you can open these up generally and you're going to be able to play some games right then and there out of the box which is really nice this one so these are just going to come with packs though so this doesn't actually have the cards maybe you have to get those ones from the actual card shop i do not know but each one comes with six booster packs so we've got an additional six that we are going to be opening up if i can get them opened all the way and then we are going to be seeing what we get for our packs in these seems like that pack has quite a bit of air in it that's interesting all right so these are going to be moved officially out of the way now we have got six more packs plus our five individual plus our booster box um, I decided to pick up a little bit of extra of everything at GameStop while I was there. Code card for you guys, as always. We've got a our first miscut. This one's going to be the rare, so thankfully they didn't hit. Well, it may not be, actually. We'll see. Slow Poke, Crow Gunk, Flaffy, Toxel, and a Professor's Research. But yeah, you can see right here. Right there is where they messed it up at, and a, almost a little bit on the other one. Um, but we got a miscut or a crimp right there on the card at least, so that's interesting. I think that's my first crimp card um, that I've actually opened up. But here is continuing forward. So for the first booster bundle, are we going to get any major pulls? Nothing so far. But in other news, Pokemon Go came out and they we've got a couple more crimp cards right there. Wow, they have really smacked this one here that uh that we're opening up. But you know, in other news, Pokemon Go has decided to nerf their remote raids that are going on, which is a big bummer for me. I love doing remote raids. I usually do Quite a bit of them, actually, nightly. I like playing Pokemon Go, just relaxing, doing some raids while watching some TV. Um, you know, don't have to do anything too crazy, but it just means I'm going to have to put more time in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I've got Violet B working through Scarlet with uh, the wife. She's playing Violet while I'm playing Scarlet. A Gardevoir EX. Awesome. So this is another good card here. Um, not in the original 198 set. Um, the only one that I really pulled is going to be that Iron Treads that's included in that set there. Um, we've got a lot of cards to go through. These have stacked up so fast. It's getting a little crazy just watching the stack. I'll have to show you guys it here in a moment. Here's another one for you. One to the front is all you have to do with these. It's crazy. And for this pack, we got another Cyclizer rare we'll take it final pack of that first booster bundle booster box yeah booster bundle is what it is here is this for you one to the front and for this one we have got another professor's research it's nothing too crazy there going on to our next set of six um, and I may put a pause in the video, so if you see it just kind of cut out, that's because we're going to the booster box next. And putting the cut in the video is just going to kind of help when it comes to checking on space and storage before everything kind of just stops recording on me. Um, Rhydon was our hollow rare card that we got there. Seems to be a pretty common hollow um, rare card that people are going to be pulling, at least from my end here. So here is our next code card fighter energy prime ape crockler and a hound houndstone houndoon I, no that was a houndstone that wasn't uh, a houndoon houndoon's definitely different don't know what i was thinking there code card for us one to the front leaf energy sprigatito and quack of all hollow rare is going to be our final card and we've got a tower wanting to collapse on us because we have so many cards like i said i'm gonna have to show you how many we're already sitting at it's it's a pretty big stack 
Granted, we've opened up quite a bit of packs already. What, 9, 18, 23, 24, 30. 30 packs so far, so pretty much equivalent to a booster box for pretty close to the same price, actually. You know, we really haven't gotten anything out of these booster bundles yet. Um, I think, what, the last pull was that Gardevoir EX, so nothing too crazy there. Here is your guys' code card. And for this pack, we are getting another professor's research. But instead of the female professor, this was the male professor. I uh, don't want to have any spoilers there. But depending on which version you get is going to be the version of the professor that's in your game. And going with that steel energy, the final pack, nothing. All right, I'm just going to put a quick break here and I will see you guys back in one moment. Three, two, one. We are back from the break. Um, we're going to just quickly move on to the five single packs that we have here. Start opening these up, go through them pack by pack, see everything that we get in each one of these. I'm just going to quickly tear these open and then we'll move forward. It's not going to take too long, but just a few seconds here. But so far, um, just a recap on everything we've got. We got two iron treads. We got a gold nest ball card. We got a... Mabostiff, a Gyarados, a Maridon, a Dolliv, and a Gardevoir EX. So we have definitely gotten some good uh, pulls so far from the ETBs themselves. One was pulled from the booster bundle. Now we're going on to single packs. We've got five of these, and then we're going to be going through a booster box to see on how these all stack up. So going on through this, I see a muck and nothing there either. Um... So far, I've been enjoying these. I The design change makes it just feel a little different. Um, you know, the silver border around it. And then you see the hollow, and it's the silver hollow border. I was kind of hoping they all would just have that, that silver as if it was the rare card. Um, but they clearly don't. Nothing too big in this pack pull either. Um, these individual packs might end up being a little bit of a bust, but that's okay. And seeing what we get on these. Now, when it comes to the um, booster bundle, I might speed up that video. Just make it a little bit quicker because this is already... We got an Arvin. A full art Arvin. I absolutely despised this guy when I first started playing the game, by the way. Um, for those of you that... And I'm sure there's not many of you, but there are some that are still playing through the game. I'm not going to say... Um, ain't really anything pertaining to the story, but I absolutely despised him when I first met him. I could not stand him at all. But we got a Ryolu. Lucario is one of my top Pokemon and a Professor's Research. Going on to our final individual booster pack. See what we get. Hopefully we get something good. Here is our energy, another Ryolu, Fuecoco, and a Rever Room. So now we are moving on to this guy, down to the final, final set of packs. Moving through this pretty fast. I've got, like I said, two more of these coming, two more um, of the Poke Center ETB exclusives coming as well. Um, depending on how much of the collection we actually get done with these, I may leave one in the booster box if we're doing pretty good on it so um but i am excited to see how this looks so here it is open up you've got Maridon on, on the top we've got all of our packs off to the side here we are going to start on the right side first so we're going to exclusively open up only the right side of the booster box and then we're going to compare it to the left side and see which one's going to give us more pulls. So this is going to be interesting. Here is our code card. Just going through these real quick. And you know what? I'm probably going to go ahead and just stop doing the card trick for this. That way we don't take up nearly as much time. Um, and we can just kind of get through these packs a little bit faster. Now some of these packs are 
really good condition. Nice, tight, good thick seals on them. This did come from the Poke Center store. I don't know why the Poke Center store only sent me one booster box, but not my ETBs or other ones same day. Uh, we got a Toxicroak EX card for our first pull out of the right side. Now this one looks awesome. If I can get it sleeved up there, but here is our Toxicroak EX card. Looking sharp. So we've already got a couple good ones there. Seeing how many more hits we can get off of this. Code card for you guys as always. Nothing there. Moving on to the next batch. Code card for you guys. Drifloom Sprigatito. We got a, a different Arvin. So that must be an Alt Art. An Annihilate Hollow. So we have got two Arvins here. One is the Full Art. One is the alt art so my guess would be this one's the rarer one because it's got some two double gold stars at the bottom so that is awesome right there we're getting already some decent pulls out of this code card for you as always ryolu blitzy we got a graveyard and we did get a full hollow there as well but the graveyard is the main card of concern for this one Looking sharp, full art graveyard. I'm going to just slide these up and over. We've got quite a bit right there. So we've already got some excellent cards being pulled out of this. This is going to take me a while to sleeve up and put away all these cards. And Oh, a lot of work I'm already seeing ahead of me, but that's all right. This is for you guys. Sandile, Houndoom, Judge. We got a Toxicroak EX card. There we go. Another Toxicroak. This one's going to be the other version of him. So I wonder if he has an Altar card. That would be sharp looking if he does. Toxicroak's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, not one of my favorites by any means, but he is nonetheless an awesome Pokemon. I don't know why I just went ahead and did that anyways, but we got Scatterbug. Tropius and nothing. Oh! Put it on the wrong pile, collapsed it. I gotta quickly just set these back up. I am having a hard time holding on to these cards here. We have so many cards on the desk right now that we need to put away. It is getting crazy. Get you guys your guys' code card. Scatterbug, Driftloom, Sprigatita, Lucario. There we go. I don't think we pulled the Lucario yet. Professor's Research and another Revraboom. I do not think we've pulled the Lucario card yet, though. So that is awesome. Lucario is definitely up there for one of my favorite Pokemon. So is Ditto. Um, both of those are definitely some of my favorite Pokemon. Outside of that, we got an Arcanine EX card. This one looks sharp. Another hidden card here. So we have been getting some good pulls. He is terror sterilized as well. You can see right on the top of his head um, that he is. So that's cool that they did add that into the cards themselves. That is exciting right there. And don't want to force that open and cause damage to the cards. But here we go. Code card. Magikarp. Youngster. Clef key. And we'll just set that right there off to the side. It is definitely going to be my goal to get everything cleaned up this week and get this video out as soon as possible to you guys um, because we are going to have some more major openings come Monday. Um, and we're kind of behind on videos that need to be released as well. I'm sitting on another one that will probably release Tuesday. We got a Oinkligen and a Reverse Hollow Ralts, which is pretty cool. Um... So here is our next card that's going to be added in. We've already got a pretty good stack of rare, or super rare, or ultra rare cards, however they get worded in this series here. I wish they'd just leave everything universal. 
but I get that it has to change when you have new generations of Pokemon coming out. Nothing too special there. We are just down to our last couple packs on the right side. Uh, looks like we've probably got about five more, and then we'll be moving on to seeing what we get on the left side. So, Ponyard, Troxicity, Indeedy, followed by the Energy, nothing. And that's all right. I have so far been actually pretty happy with these pulls. They've been pretty good. I can't complain too much. Well, I can never really complain. I mean, I'm opening up a bunch of Pokemon cards. What is there to complain about unless it's Evolving Skies? Because, well, we all know how that treats everyone as a whole. For some reason, when they made Evolving Skies, they decided that they just wanted to set the world on fire and not let us get anything good out of them. And if you did, you are one of the few lucky ones. All right, code card for you guys. And for this pack here, we got nothing as well. Just gonna move those all off to the side. Cards keep sliding around, getting lipped up on other cards. Massive, massive stack of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards right now going on my desk. It's a little absurd. And I just have the energy thrown off to the side, the code cards thrown off to the side. So those are just literally everywhere. Professor's Research down to our final two packs on the right side. Let's get some hype. See what we're going to get. Hopefully we can get something good. So far we have gotten a couple good cards. So I mean, I really truly can't complain a whole lot. Especially for this these right side pulls. They've been pretty good. Plus, we have our promo cards we are going to have to put away. And, oh, I just keep looking at the sack. I'm like, because I'm weird. I like to sleep up all of my cards. I don't do it, obviously, while I'm making the video. Because if I were to open up a pack, sleeve it up, open up a pack, sleeve it up, sort them out, it would take way too much time to be able to bombard your... <clears throat> is going to be our next pull, our final pull out of the right side. Um, so we got quite a bit. We got what, one, two, three, four, five, six pulls. We're moving on to the left side of the box now. Um, so definitely got some good pulls, not much more we could ask for. So six out of what was that like 17, 18 cards. So pretty good overall. Moving on to the final portion, and then we're going to have another massive video this next week. I mean, it, it's it's going to be crazy. We're going to have multiple massive videos, because I need to get the Shining Fate ETBs done and out of the way as well. I'm sitting on about five of those. So we need to get those opened up, see how much more we can finish on that collection, um, and really start pushing through. We got the Crydon EX card. There we go. Um, now we just need the Crydon, um What? Full Art? Alt art card, I'm assuming that they have. Yeah, so we just need to get that card now. So we did get the Crydon EX card. That is awesome. So far, sitting at a good group of pulls, but we have opened up tons of packs. So, I mean, you really can't expect to get very few when you're opening up tons of packs. We're just going to move that energy off to the side right now. See what we get for our next pack. Another Maridon EX card. That is funny. We were just talking about that. So we have got two of these. You know, I'm going to send one of these off to get graded. We'll go and take a look through. We've got a couple cards we could probably do that now with. Um, and I think it's time to go get some more graded cards. So this, this next month, I'm going to be sending cards off to PSA, getting them graded. And then we'll do an opening on when they return, seeing what cards we actually decided to send off and what the grades are when they came back. So that will be fun. Um, but that is awesome that we did get two of the Maridon cards. Kind of funny how that worked out. Maybe we can get lucky and get the Maridon EX card and the Crydon full art card. That would be sweet. That would be like, that would make this opening like perfect for me at that point. In a perfect world, that would make me so happy um, getting those, those two right there. Uh, Maridon versus Crydon. Which one's your guys' favorite? My favorite's Maridon. Um, you know, I, I 
Crydon's cool and all, but Maridon, I definitely think, is the better one out of them. Um, and then for this pack here, nothing too special. I've got is that another energy. It just is an energy. That is perfectly fine. All right. Here is our code card. Move the energy off to the side. Rare candy. Cyclizer Professor Research. Didn't we open up another? No, we got an Arvin, not a full art professor research. So we have the male professor research. We'll have to get the female one as well. I'm going to be fairly certain that that's in the set. Here is your next code card. Switch for a Coco Pokeball. Coridon. And just moving everything else off to the side. Kind of excited that after I open these, I'm going to look through and see what cards all come with it. See what my favorite cards are. Arvin, Slowbro, Rare was the final card in that pack. Sorry, I should have got some water. My throat's starting to get a little bit dry, so it's kind of getting to that point where it's getting a little hard to talk, a little scratchy. Rotom. Oh, I see something there. Ooh, we already have that one. So another duplicate. Yeah, so that one was already pulled as well, which is fine. I'm always happy to get some duplicates. So far, this left side compared to the right side has not been as good. Maybe they put all those packs on the right side of the booster box. We'll definitely try it out again when we get the other ones in. Um, Fue Coco. Gardevoir EX. Did we already? We did not open up a Gardevoir EX. I do not believe. We got the Gardevoir. Yeah, we did get a Gardevoir EX. But that one's going to be the alternate art guard of or EX that we got. Very cool, nonetheless. Quite a bit of very nice cards being opened up here. Wondering how much of this set is going to technically be completed. Ralt, Growlithe, Shuppet, Cacturn, and Quackaval. Only... Five more packs on the left side. Then that is going to be it for today's video. Growlithe, Ralts, Nest Ball, and nothing on that one either. Throw the energy in the energy pile. Should almost show you guys how ridiculous my desk is looking. It's getting a little absurd. Here's your guys' code card. And for this pack, I think I'm seeing something there. A Gyarados EX. There we go. We have gotten another good pull. This one is going to be the base set Gyarados EX. Down to the final four packs. Can we get one more pull? That is all I'm asking for. Just one more. Not asking for the world here. You know, I'm, and I'm right on is what we're going to end on. Um, I'm, I'm curious if sometimes you can get those banger packs with these where you're going to pull two in one pack. We've already opened up quite a bit of packs, pretty close to about 60 packs, and haven't seen that happen yet. So it would be interesting if it does. Ryolu, Nest Ball, and Meowskerade. Hollow is going to be our final pull in that pack down to the final two here is the code card for you cyclizer hollow and for the final pack if you guys enjoyed this video if you stuck with me all the way through Go ahead, give yourself a pat on the back. Hit that like button if you stuck all the way through this video. I would be surprised if any of you really have. Um, but go ahead, hit that like button. Make sure that my videos get out there so we can do more unboxings. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you all in the next video.